Hello guys, so welcome to a new YouTube video for today, and today we're gonna be talking about Star Wars. The new Star Wars movie that's supposedly gonna come out in a few years, probably 2025 or 2026. Um, I saw online that Daisy Ridley is gonna return as Rey Skywalker for to make the new Jedi Order, and in my opinion, I'm I'm hyped. Um, Many are not so hyped, but in my opinion, like it has potential. Okay, what do, what do I think of of the sequel trilogy? Well, it's okay at least, but I think the new trilogy, the sequel trilogy, was aimed more for children, for like like the new Star Wars fans. But let's check out this stuff about the new Jedi Order, right? So from Screen Rant. Why race new Je Jedi Order will be very different to the prequels, to the prequels explained by Lucasfilm boss. Um, th 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 here's the summary: Race new Jedi Order movie will focus on her attempt to reveal the Jedi Order using ancient Jedi texts, and in my opinion, I think that's very, very freaking good, because, well, there's no more Jedi on the sequel. Uh, it was only her. And Luke Skywalker and Finn, right? Finn. Uh, and there's a, there has to be a new order for the Jedi because pretty much I think like the Jedi Order got extinct via the Secret Trilogy or something. There, there was not really that much like Jedi stuff going on. Secrets, but not like, like oh, like here are the Jedi's and stuff. So obviously, like who's gonna continue the Jedi lineage, right? Well, Rey. Uh, because, well, obviously, we need, like, a new master to take place to build, like, a new order. Obviously, that's what I just said, like, a freaking, like, several seconds ago. And what do I think of this? Well, it would be cool f to return to, like, the old... Jedi temples, like if 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 Disney wants like really good stuff happening for like the new Jedi Order movie, we can have um, Rey go to Yavin, like who misses Yavin for right? Um, supposedly right like like in the books, uh, Luke made like a Jedi temple like on a, on Yavin. Rey can do the same thing. She can do like a Jedi temple on Yavin. And probably Coruscant, right? Coruscant, and like some other like new planets. But and here's how I can picture it. Ray is like the new master, right? She gets some uh, young kids to be like uh, like for, for for sensitive kids and their training, right? And we all know that Finn is for sensitive too. So Ray has like the kids under her wing training uh finn but he's not like she's not like being like the master of finn because we all know that masters take like kids as padawans and finn is an adult already but she can teach him some stuff but ray is not um she's not ready to become like a master master so she's just teaching like the kids and finn like the ways of the jedi and well, what I think for the new evil is that like there's no new uh, first order. It's that we can have some remnants of the first order, but like it's not like a big of a deal anymore. If if you read different Star Wars books, we all know that like Jedi fight not just like Sith, like the Empire, the First Order. They fight d different types of villains. Using the dark force because the light side and the dark side will always be a thing But it matters on who uses it for what right? So in my opinion for this new trilogy like the new Jedi order We can have like space pirates right space pirates with some force sensitive users using the dark side of the force but like those space pirates are not really using um like the, the dark side of the force to like, oh, like kill the Jedi and stuff. No, no, they're just using it for their own evil deeds. But, you know, still, 
Because, the, like I said, the light side and the dark side will always be a thing. So, there you go. Um, the movie will address the state of the galaxy post-war and post-first order with the Jedi in disarray. Um, so, does this mean that pretty much the First Order is going to be, like, spread? Like, um, a few hints of the First Order around the galaxy somewhere? Probably. Ray has the opportunity to avoid repeating mistakes of the prequel Jedi. Well, of course. I mean, like, when you are left something, you need to make it better, right? Um, Luke told Ray, like, oh, like, this happened and this happened. Like, I was bad at doing this, but you can make a better this, you know? So, she can make the, like, and, and I'm, I'm going to use uh, Star Wars Episode 3 as an example. The, the Jedi in the prequel trilogy were kind of um, not so well good, like, in their minds. Because um, sometimes even the good guys can get over their heads. So, I'm guessing, and in my opinion, like, during the prequel trilogy, the Jedi were kind of, like, over their heads. Like, oh, like, like not much bad stuff is going to happen. Yeah, we're still defeating the Sith, but, like, you know, all of this shiz is not going on. Like, we have it under control. Well, they didn't really have it under control. I mean, the freaking Jedi were not listening to Anakin, like, oh, Palpatine's like the Sith. And freaking, um, Mace Windu be like, Sith, Lord? Like, oh my god, like, Sometimes the good guys can get over their heads. So this is the time for the Jedi to be back on track. How like they were in the... Like with like Yoda in the original trilogy. Because in my opinion like the Jedi from the prequel trilogy were um, kind of like over their heads. Like not really listening. So let's see how it goes. Alright so let's see right this. Although little known... Although little is known about Star Wars The New Jedi Order... Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy peak, Kennedy's peek into the plot sig signaled that Ray's Jedi Order may look very different from that of Star Wars Prequel Trilogy. Boom. We're going to have a different story. And in my opinion, the, the, the Secret Trilogy could have been like a new adventure and not follow like the Skywalkers because I think that the Skywalkers ended with like the original trilogy. First Anakin and then Luke. We could have had like so many different adventures with like the light side with like the new cast and I'll do like a uh, copy and paste of the original trilogy. Ray's new Jedi Order movie was announced at Star Wars Celebration 2023 and will take place 15 years. Oh shit, it's 15 years? I, w I was thinking like 3 or 5 years. Well, if she was building new Jedi temples, yeah, I think so. After the events of the sequels, it fall. It will follow Ray's attempt to rebuild the Jedi Order using the Jedi texts. Okay. Yeah, because we all know that the Jedi and the Sith have like their own like um Jedi Bibles or something like that, right? We all know what happened in... What was it in... The Last Jedi where like Yoda burned down like a tree that contained like some like Jedi texts? Uh, this clearly means that there is likely to be a thematic link between this movie and James Magnot's... Ma I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to pronounce this, I'm just going to butcher it. Dawn of the Jedi co collectively. Uh, viewers will be able to see the evolution of the Jedi Order. Nice, nice. Ray's knowledge predates the prequel era. Can she avoid their mistakes? And this is, uh, this is what I was going again with. You know... People learn from their mistakes. That's why we learn from history, right? From history books, we learned what, like, people did in, in the past. So the new generation can avoid those mistakes. And Rey is going to do that. She, she's going to see, like, all the mistakes that the Jedi did. Like, during, like, the prequel trilogy. And, and like, before that, I think. And she's going to form, like, a... Like, a, a better, more responsible... You know, to use Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. While Luke's Skywalker's negative outlook was probably received in Star Wars Secret Trilogy, much of what he said about the Jedi did align with the Jedi Order depicted in the prequels. In Star Wars The Last Jedi, Luke tells Rey that if you strip away the myth and look at their deeds, the legacy of the Jedi is a failure. Hypocrisy, hubris. Although harsh, that, is, that assessment seems somewhat true. See, even Luke knew that the 
prequel Jedi and before that like some of the Jedi were like went over their heads I'm talking to you Mace Windu Sith Lord um it still goes on to say the Jedi Order allowed Palpatine to take over right under their noses see if the Jedi were smart enough in the prequel trilogy they would have noticed that freaking Palpatine was being sus but they were like nah 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 this is cool you know he ain't doing anything me Swindu, I swear. Something he was able to do in part in part because the Order accepted an army of clones without a very clear explanation of why they were receiving them. See, if, even like the Republic was like, hey, you know, we're, we're getting this like um army we didn't know we ordered and like that's kinda sus, right? If you if you're getting something that you didn't even order and and you didn't know even know, that's like something sus, right? It's like if you if, if if an Amazon package just came to you, and you were like, "Oh, what's this? Like, I didn't order this. Like, like what, what, what the frick?" That was like their first mistake. That they'd be like, "Hey, uh, this clone army is coming towards, uh, coming toward, like coming to us, and like they're gonna working. They they'll be working for us. There's nothing sus about that." In addition to their oversight with the rise of Palpatine, the Jedi Order had a myriad cracks and flaws many of which contributed to Anakin Skywalker's fall to Darth Vader perhaps the most significant was the Jedi band of attachments yeah um I know the Jedi are not supposed to be like emotional but they're still human which led to Anakin being well some are aliens but you know like even aliens in Star Wars have um feelings which led to Anakin being told not to mourn the dead at the height of his grief over the loss of of his mother and paranoia about losing Padme. Despite their rig rigidity, rigidity with this rule, the Jedi showed mo much more flexibility with their identity as peacekeepers. When the Clone Wars began, they trained their Padawans as soldiers, leaving many of them conflicted and confused. So Miss Wind would be like, hey, we're, we're peacekeepers, not soldiers. In the Clone Wars, they're being trained as soldiers. Strike two right there, Jedi. Perhaps most notably Barris off, who also fell to, to the dark side. Although the contents of the Jedi text remain largely a mystery, they have the potential to unearth massive revisions to these policies. Make them again! The junior novelization of Darius Skywalker has already begun that work with the loss of the Sith. By reading the text, Ray discovers that the Sith rule of two was not quite what the Jedi believed. It was not that the case that only two Sith could exist at the same time. Instead, the Sith, the Sith were often ruled by two, a master and an apprentice. Given how large a misinterpretation this was, it's conceivable that the Jedi Order misinterpreted Jedi rules as well. See? Now they're thinking of their own Jedi rules like, hey, are these rules okay or are they kind of weird? With the ancient text, Rey has the opportunity to avoid many of the Jedi's Order's flaws, truly beginning in a new era of the Jedi in Star Wars and New Jedi Order. And another example is if you're a fan of, of Assassin's Creed, in Assassin's Creed Rogue, uh, the assassin uh, Patri Shea Patrick Cormac saw that uh, brotherhood w the, the, the Brotherhood was not being responsible and they were going like over their heads. Exactly, the, the, this is what happened with like the Jedi. They'd be like, "Hey, you know, well, we're keeping the peace and shit, and I think that is happening." But it was under their noses. And what Shay Patrick Cormac did is that he pretty much told like the Brotherhood, like, "Hey, you, you, you guys are are effing up. This is happening. You, you gotta get your facts straight." And this is what Ray is basically gonna do in the new movie. All right. Now let's see when um when the new order is gonna begin filming because i think i heard it was this year when well should i Whoops, mic was off. When, when will the new G.O.D. order begin filming? <laughs> uh, I typed too fast. Alright, let's see. At the time of writing Star Wars, the new Jedi Order has yet to begin filming. However, in the same interview, 
Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to pronounce like the last name because I'm, I'm going to butcher it. Uh, the movie is aiming to begin produce, production in spring of 2024. So, um, I, don't, I don't know my stations. Can someone tell me when spring starts? All right. So, what I was thinking of like the like a sequel trilogy for the sequel trilogy is that and we fan and, and and we Star Wars fans who read the books, Han and Leia have twins, right? Jaina and Jason Solo. And I was thinking, if they do like a new trilogy, they, they could do like, and and this is before like the Force Awakens came out, right? I was like, oh, um, it, it's okay, but like I, I, I wanted it to be like not focused on like Skywalker, because obviously like the story of Skywalker ended in with Luke Skywalker, so I was thinking, like, oh, they, they should have made, like, a trilogy focused on the twins, that would have been cool, St like, still have Skywalker, but his story is done, he's more like a, like a supporting character, and we could have, like, a trilogy with Jason and Jaina Solo, and then, like, a TV series of the twins, and then, like, a new trilogy, of the fall of Jason Solo to the dark side, which he, which he turns into the Sith, Darth Kytus, right? Am, am, am I um, butchering the name? Darth. Whoops. Darth. Kytus. Um. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, like. And I, I, I don't know much myself, I just know the basics, but, like, um, Jason Solo becomes, like, turns to, turns to, oh my god, turns to the dark side and becomes Darth Kytus. But, but you, like, hardcore Star Wars fans I already know this, and hopefully you guys are not toxic. But what do I think of the Star Wars The New Jedi Order? Um, I am looking forward to it. Um, I know that, 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 that there's gonna be like more. Um, that those are the books. Uh, that there's gonna be like more Star Wars projects, but we know more about like the new Jedi Order with Rey. You know, being like the new master, and I hope that it's good. You know, like I'm, I'm not I'm not a toxic Star Wars fan. Star Wars is Star Wars, right? And. The only people who are gonna have a bad time with this are is the fandom menace. Um, they really hate the secret trilogy. They pretty much hate like any female protagonist of any movie, calling Ray a Mary Sue. But guess what? Fandom menace, Anakin and Luke are also Mary Sues. They have plot armor, right? Freaking Luke didn't have to train that much, and he's already like mastered the Force, and also like Anakin. Just because Ray is a woman, that doesn't make it woke, alright? You guys turned the, th that word woke into something that it's not. I'm really looking forward to this movie one day. Um, and if it does begin filming, uh, I can wait to see those like screenshots and like vids of like the set. Like the, the filming set and official stills from like Star Wars, like from Disney themselves. So... I just hope that the movie does great. Uh, I am looking forward to like the new like the new movies, and I know that there are, like more projects on the way, like a Mandalorian movie. But I'm gonna skip that one just because um, the Mandalorian didn't really grasp my attention. Yeah, a big Star Wars fan, and a movie didn't re movie like a show didn't 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 really grasp my attention. But that's because I'm already like far behind. I don't know what the heck's going on. I'm just gonna be like a new season of the Mandalorian. But uh, but. Like I said, we know more. Uh, we, we we know bits of the new Jedi Order, so I really hope that the, the, the like the movie is good. Um, I just love Star Wars. You know, I love the good side of the fandom. The toxic side can freaking um, how can I say this without cursing? You uh, the toxic side can that um. How can you really put it? You toxic side of the fandom can get that out of here because honestly, um, it's you toxic Star Wars fans that that made Star Wars how it is. You know, there's nothing wrong with the sequel trilogy. Um, 
Star Wars fans hate Star Wars. <laughs> oh my god, the, the, the toxic side is so funny at times. They, they be like, oh, Disney ruined Star Wars. No, you toxic fans ruined Star Wars. So, alright guys, thanks for watching my Star Wars video. And may the force be with you. I'm looking forward to the new Jedi Order and the new projects in the future. Bye.